How are we doing folks? I'm Smasher93 here and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. When we last left off, we defeated the Snow Point City Gym and went through Lake Acuity to realize we failed to save Yuxi from being captured. Now in this episode, we are about to raid the Team Galactic Hide Headquarters. And first off, we must talk to this guy. Hang on a second. I don't know why it does that. Alright, let's try it again. There. Would you look at those antennas? I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antennae. Hello. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his old country. Wah! I know nothing. I don't know anything about any storage key. Bye bye. And hey, looker, how's it going? Aha! You leave this to me. The storage key for entering the Team Galactic Hideout I have right here. A frontal assault it is not possible, but we can enter their hideout. Well, will you enter the hideout? You have your reasons, yes? Very well. Inside the Team Galactic Warehouse, we will meet there. Prepare the best you can. I shall join you shortly. Well, prepare indeed. And I'm, w I think I'm well prepared. Did some off-screen training involving these four Pokemon. These two are level 47, these two are level 46. And now, we're ready to go. And head off to the to the warehouse. Thank you, Looker. Ah, hello. I have kept you waiting. I will use this storage key I have obtained from Team Galactic. Chunk. Yes, it is open. I will go on ahead, my friend. Do not expose yourself to danger. Well, go ahead and go down there. And this is the Dusk Stone. Except it doesn't prove any use for this Let's Play because both Pokemon that evolve with this are can we cannot get it all in this game. Hello. Team Galactic will set free all Pokemon, all of nature. Wahahaha. Team Galactic will then own it all. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, hang on. Is there any way we could access the... Nope. We definitely need a key for that. A galactic key. Door is locked. A special key is needed. Definitely need that. So now, we're gonna go ahead and battle this Gruntling. And just like, just like with all my playthroughs, I'm gonna battle all these trainers. Gotta get the money and the experience. Hello there, Golbat. Remember my Infernape? Well, maybe not, but your brothers and sisters might. And all your known species should be afraid of this monkey. Oh, crap. It's a good thing I'm stocked up with Hyper Potions and Full Heals. Because this might be an, a bumpy ride in this episode. Alright, you're lost, but you won. That burns me up. Oh, audios to you. I'll go ahead and pick this item up. See if there's any items. Nope. Moving on. Now this is another required battle. What with the creepy Caron and a kid like you around? The HQ's not the same anymore. Like, you characters changed the, well, character of the place. Well, as for me, I'm about to raid this place. Because there's a trio of Pokemon I'm trying to save here. And you guys are just a bunch of dicks. 
so I'm just gonna have to give you a mock punch. And I say that a lot when I've been using Infernape. Yeah, Infernape looks very pissed. Hello, Murkrow. How have you been? Are you happy to see Infernape? Well, Infernape's not happy to see you. <clears throat> so, Infernape's gonna give you a flame wheel. <clears throat> yeah, having some roasted Murkrow for dinner tonight. <clears throat> well, now Infernape's leveled up. You know who I haven't put out of my team in a while? Haven't battled in a while? Guessed him. Garchomp. Time to give Garchomp some time to shine. I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of the grunts. It's my fault, though. I still don't know how the warp panels connect. Oh, that's too bad. This is some great music here. Was there any warp panels? No, there's not. And I just wasted some time. This is kind of my favorite kind of music here. And I'll go ahead and Kick this Gruntling's ass. Who do you think you are, desecrating the halls of our HQ? Um, I'm just a trainer who's about to save a bunch of Pokemon, save a trio of Pokemon from being tortured. And you guys are just dicks. You know what? I will greet you with a Dragon Claw. Yeah, that hurts, didn't it? It should. A tough little trainer is what you are. Thank you for complimenting me. Go to this one. And what do we have here? TM49, that is Snatch. Nothing here. So let's head on back. the left for the panel. Anything here? Nothing. Okay. I'm told to ignore the gruntling. But I'm like this close to getting my promotion to commander. I'll impress our great boss by making you my newest trophy. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. You're gonna see what's gonna happen. And the reason why trying to take me down is a bad idea. Crunch time! Garchomp, welcome back. Uh, I think I have a good team in this Let's Play. I have my starter slash fire type, a water type, I have a grass type, which would be perfect. I have a flying type, I have an electric type, and I have a pseudo legendary. So, I am good to go. Did I use a crunch against... Wow, I'm an idiot! Can't believe I used a crunch against a Murkrow. Folks watching this, please do not crunch Murkrow, because it's not going to be very effective. Just don't do it. Don't be an idiot like me there and using Dark-type attacks on it. Unless it's like low on health and you're confident it's going to take it out. Okay, back to my smart ways. 
I wish this never happened. Okay, gotta take this panel. And go downstairs. Ah, this. I, I wondered what this was the music used. And now we get the dubious disc. This involves Porygon 2 through Tray 2. To. They've also to Porygon Z. Now, anyway, scientists are saying. Hey now, our HQ is a state-of-the-art facility. A snot-nosed kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Um, I said this to the others. I'm here to save the Lake Trio. I don't give a crap. What'd you say there, stupid scientist? Is that gonna help you? I don't think so. Curly has weak to dark type attacks. And Garchomp is best stat is physical attack. See what I sell ya. Now I'm being smarter with Crunch. A a a Garchomp. It's Crunch time again. How's it feeling being outside your Pokeball for the first time since you've evolved? Well, since being a Gabite on screen. You and your Pokemon weren't part of my calculations. Okay. Going down here. That's TM36! That is Sludge Bomb! And you know what that means! I'm going to go ahead and teach Sludge Bomb to Rose Raid. Rose Raid, time to learn a new move. I'm gonna go ahead and forget Mega Drain. I already have Gig, it's more powerful rendition Giga Drain. So there's no need for me to. And here's the Galactic Key. Alright! I'm gonna go ahead and battle this guy. Okay, to get to Master Cyrus' speech, uh, where was it now? At the Galactic Veilstone building? That much I'm sure about. I went through the door beside the reception center. I think it was... Uh, what did I do with that key anyway? Where's it gone? Um, uh, I have it. I'll go ahead and use that. If I want to sidetrack, but I'm not leaving anytime soon. I'm a little out of control. Time to sidetrack. Go ahead and go through this warp panel. Locked doors only open with a special key. Now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell him. I really don't know. Okay, we're gonna be battling this guy then. You're too young to understand the changing times. Stand aside and let Team Galactic shape the future. Yeah, I don't think so. And you know who, el who else is very pissed about this? My good old buddy Garchomp. Now he's ready to go dig underground. And you're gonna miss that toxic. And you know what your one weakness is? That's right, ground attacks. Garchomp gets a stab boost. And it's super effective. Oh man, that was too easy. I failed to read the flow of battle and your power was unfathomable. Oh, oh, hello! Who's ready for an ass kicking? Okay, intruder alert. There's something smelly about you. Something smelly about me? You mean the smell of me kicking the asses of galactic members? Okay. 
with Murkrow. Gonna go ahead and do a Dragon Claw. Boy, that's gonna hurt. Alright. Oh, we got Stunky. You know what this means, folks. Dig time. Yeah, I'm just gonna burrow underground. You're not gonna slash me at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and come back up and take you out. So how do you like that? That's the power of Garchomp. This might be an easy time. Oh, it was my own Pokemon smell. Well, you did have a Stunky, and it's a very smelly Pokemon, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alrighty. There's TM21, that's frustration. Now, here it is. The less, the less friendship your po you and your Pokemon have, the more powerful the move has. The move. So think of it as the polar opposite of return. Well, you know what it's time for. It's time to take up the raid the main building. This panel. Okay. Like this. Alright, good thing I had the key with me. Because now it's time to raid the main portion of the building. I wish they had the. 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 the galactic. Intrusion music. Oh, I hate the lagginess of the. I thought I had this fixed. Alright. Hi, guys! Remember me? I'm the guy that's gonna kick your guys' asses and for trying to create a new world. Is there anything special here? Nothing. Okay. Time to enter through and get to the second floor. Hey, it's a galactic grunt. I'll, I'll take you on one at a time. Having fun scampering around our HQ, you sneaky intruder? Your trailblazer will go out in a blaze of glory right now. You don't understand. But let me tell you something. I have one word for you. Garchomp. And three more. Get out there. With a dragon claw. Can't withstand its power. Okay, got that out of the way. And finally, Garchomp's leveled up! Alright. Alright, Luxray! Your turn to shine! Get on out there. Yeah, you intimidate your foe here. I'll go ahead and throw a spark out there. And that should do it. Yep. Okay, that was a good experience game. Trailblazing Streak lives on. Yes, yes it does. Let me see you about Rose Raid. See how Rose Raid will do against this Galactic Grunt. You should be tired about by now. It's Team Galactic's turn to shine. Are you sure about that? 
So you got two Pokemon. Ah, crap. It's more Golbats. Sorry, Roserade. I don't want you ending up getting taken out quick by these Golbats. So I'm gonna send out Luxray. Oh, don't give me that look. I'll just... I'll bite you with some thunder. I have... I have lightning fangs with me. Okay, I missed. And I get hit with that fang. So, I'll bite you back. Because I'm a great physical attacker. So with that... This is just a joke. You guys are jokes right now. Oh, hi, Houndour. Would you like to meet Gyarados? I bet you do. Gyarados is ready to go. Look at the level difference. Although it's not just level, it's how you utilize the Pokemon. Just as long as the level difference isn't too much. But I should be good to go. What? I don't get it. What's your rush? Trying to save a lake trio here, that's for sure. Is this a battle? Yes it is. I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic. Alrighty. Alright, we got Porygon 2. Say hello to Rose Raid. Let's go ahead and use a sludge bomb. Get the bonus. Oh yeah. Poisoned. And you know what it's time for. Finish you off with the magical leaf to end the show. All right, Rose Ray, you rock there. I got whipped. I look pathetic. All right. Is there anywhere else I could go? I don't have time for that. So I gotta use each of these warp panels. Yeah, I know how to backtrack. And that we get a max revive. Now to head back. Go through this. The Team Galactic Critter. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world. Space will become Team Galactic's. Oh, really? Not unless I can help it. Oh, we got a max potion in one of these boxes. And what do we have here? A green shard. Now, back to the main path. Go through here. And here we go. Look at all that goes grunts! Here, over here. This gathering of the Team Galactic. What is the meaning of this? Let's see what he has to say. Hello, Cyrus. Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name, as I appear to you today, is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one. In a word, it is incomplete. It has been, and always will be, a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. Because we are all so lacking, we fight, we maim. It is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete. I hate it with my entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. Then, who will change it? Me. Cyrus and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. 
Together, we poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together, we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. Understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to Mount Cornet and those who remain here. Though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic. Master Cyrus is the greatest! Okay. Wow, they're gone. Phew. So that was Cyrus, the boss of Team Galactic. Quite the performance, no? Mesmerizing for only, only 27 years old. But to make the world for Team Galactic and none other, it is preposterous. So much so that it makes my head spin. A new world? What is it? And what is this incomplete world? Very well, to investigate such matters is the job of the International Police, of which I am a member in good stead, and it is my job, therefore. We shall take part ways here. We shall part ways here. Take extra care, my friend. Alrighty. I have to go here, too. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, it's a poke it all. I'll go ahead and take a little sleeper here. I feel read. Whoops. My bad, folks. Now I feel so rejuvenated. I'm gonna get Rose Raid and Luxray some chance to shine. Alright. Are you enjoying your unescorted, unauthorized, and unselling tour of Team Galactic Headquarters? Hey there, little trainer. You're famous among Team Galactic. The order has been issued. We get a promotion if we put you down. Let me tell you this, guys. You are not gonna get that promotion. Because look at the My Pokemon team. Hello. Okay, this might not be good for Rose Raid. But, I have a good backup plan. That involves Gyarados. I'm gonna send him out. I think this Krogunk has dry skin, so I'm not gonna use water attacks on it. But I will use an Aqua Tail on Stunky when I get the chance. Gotta give my other Pokemon time to shine. And yes, I promise my... I'm gonna promise Star Raptor to get some time to shine. Oh, crap. Well, I guess that might be earlier then. Ah, crap. Go ahead and... Try to get rid of these stunkies quickly. Critical hit, I'll take that. And with that, go for a spark. Each will have one more Pokemon, and... You'll be okay, Luxray. I promise you. Okay. The poison's gonna hurt. Let's see. Okay, Glamiel. Alright, I'm switching Luxray out. And finally, I'm gonna give Star Raptor some time to shine. Because. Flying types. And more intimidation. That I like. Yeah, get hit with Gyarados' mighty tail. You never stood a chance. Oh! <laughs> so you were intending to take out my Luxray with that. Well, too bad. Your Mud Bomb has no effect on my Star Raptor. And now I'm gonna give you an Aerial Ace and end this battle. 
Alrighty. That's some good battling here. Let me do what I want. I just blew my promotion. That you did. Now I'm gonna need a heal. Uh, I fell asleep in the bed. Inside of headquarters. Okay. Now here we got. We're supposed. We're gonna come across these three. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this one first. And there's an item somewhere. Yep, right here. That's a max elixir. Can I find any items here? Nope. Oh, gonna go ahead and go right here. There's the protein. Good for building muscles. And now, back to the main path. Alright. Feel like I've defeated every member of Team Galactic in this area. And you know what it's time for. So, you've come. You heard my speech, I take it. <laughs> A big lie, of course. It's true, insofar as my intention is to create a new world. But that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world solely for myself. If not, I it could never be the complete and perfect world. You've seen my minions of Team Galactic. You yourself must know that they are un uniformly useless and incomplete. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi Mesprin and Azov, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I couldn't care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you come to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and faulty human heart. You were compelled to come here by such various sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Well then, buddy. I'm not gonna let you create that new world. So I'm gonna take you down. Alright, we're facing Cyrus again. Cyrus will have three Pokemon. The first Pokemon is Sneasel, level 44. Dark Ice type, inner focus for the ability. Screech. Ice Punch, Slash, Quick Attack. I'm gonna send out Infernape for this one. You missed. Time to give it a Bok Punch. This will be an easy one. All right. All right. Next Pokemon is Crobat, level 44. Poison Flying type. Inner focus for the ability. Air Cutter, Poison Fang, Supersonic, Bite! Well, got the Lux Ray here. About to cut your strength. And give you a spark. After I get hit with Poison Fang, let's not get badly poisoned again. Thank you. Now, Crobat is a fast Pokemon, but... Not too much in physical defense. All right, one more to go. His last Pokemon is Honchcrow, level 46 Dark Flying type, Insomnia for the ability, Citrus Berry for the Held item. My last Pokemon. That's all you have to say. Nightshade, Fain Attack, Drill Pack, Astonish, and he has Citrus Berry for the Held item. I'm glad I trained my Pokemon so well. Because of that. And Luxray levels up! Hooray! Interesting. And quite curious. I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokemon. 
How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And, like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions and useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That's it. I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Dad, he gives us a Master Ball! The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. It is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the war panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. I will ascend the mountain to its peak where destiny awaits me. It is there that I will create my new world. Okay. This will be in the way. We'll take this war panel up ahead. Whoa, this takes me to... Hey, this takes me to this place. Holy crap! Alright. Got one more thing we have to do. Yeah, this... Yeah, the scientist there is having some... Remorse over what's happening. Hello. I feel too sick to say anything. But that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? And holy crap. You can see it's sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. As Elf is sealed inside, it appears to be suffering with racking sh shutters. And let's see what poor Mesprit has. Mesprit is sealed inside. It seems to be suffering with its tail twitching. Alright. Hey, buddy. I'm here to save these Pokemon. You. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Alright! So we got one more battle to go through. And that's against Commander Saturn. Saturn will have three Pokemon, this will be the last time we face him. First Pokemon's Golbat, level 42. Poison Flying type, with inner focus for the ability. Armed with Bite, Air Cutter, Poison Fang, and Confuse Ray. Alright Gyarados, show this Golbat what you got. With an Ice Fang! All right. Ah, damn it. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just have to use a surf. So surf's up, Golbat. <laughs> Adios to you. All right. Next Pokemon he's about to send out is Bronzor, level 42. Steel Psychic type with Levitate for the ability. Extra Sensory, Gyro Ball, Confused Ray, Shadow Ball. With the Levitate on there, its only weakness left is Fire. And I got the Fire right here. At least it doesn't have Heat Proof. But it's still, it's a great all around wall. Okay, just fight the confusion there, Infernape. Just once. That's all I need. Damn it. This is not gonna go well. But I'm actually glad I was able to train a lot. And be prepared for this. There we go. 
That's all I needed. That is all I needed. Good job, Infernape. Now, I'm gonna get Staraptor out to face Saturn's last Pokemon, which is Toxicroak. Level 44, poison buying type, fighting type, in anticipation for the ability with Citrus Berry as with the held item. As the held item. What am I saying? Okay. Brick Break, Faint Attack, X Scissor, Poison Jab. I'm gonna go ahead and fly up in the air. Coming down. And that should do it. Yes, it will. Bye bye, Toxicroak. Star Raptor. In fact, my whole team, you guys rocked. You're tough, kid, but I still don't like the likes of you. Gah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Alright, gonna do that. Our boss crafted a red chain from those crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Cornet. It's also apparently needed for creating something. But that's all I know. Who know who knows what he's planning to do up there? Hm. Saturn and even Cyrus failed to a mere child. Team Galactic's state of affairs is worrying. That plan of Cyrus is atop Mount Cornet too. Who knows if it will work? Hmm, perhaps another option needs to be considered. One benefiting the genus of Caron. Well, adios to you guys. Well, we are done here with this place. And I guess we all know what's coming up next. It's gonna be our biggest quest yet. I like this music. Can we take it back there? No, we can't. Nope. But... That... Will do it. For this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, I'm Adam Smasher 93 and I will see you guys in the next episode. Where we will begin our ascension up Mount Cornet and make it to Sphere Pillar. See you guys later.